How's it going, everybody? And welcome to episode number 44 of the Manage Mode 2.0 series here on FIFA 16. Well, our bad luck still is a problem as we're uh, having a tough time finding the back of the net. Uh, it seems like we're just running into a brick wall here this season. At this stage of the season, I should say. And uh, Ted's got to be frustrated, I think. And you can feel my frustration in the gameplay. We're just not... nothing. Nothing's clicking right now. Um, here's, I think we went over the table last time, but another quick update. You see we're in sixth place. Uh, we've fallen a little bit. Um, the draws have kind of helped us, but um, we're starting to lose ground with the teams ahead of us here for third place. You can see Steven has just actually moved up over Fleetwood Town. Um, if we would have gotten some results, we could easily be in third place, but uh, unfortunately we haven't gotten those results. We've been struggling quite badly. Um, in this episode, we got uh, Carlisle United coming up. They're in the mid-table. Uh, they're not too far out from... They're fighting for that uh, playoff spot. They're still in it. A lot of teams still in it at this point. Uh, it's going to be tough to keep momentum here. And then we've got Burton Albion. And it's these games that we usually do pretty well in, which is surprising to consider the form against the teams below at the bottom of the table. We just stink against, so... I'm hoping that this episode's a little bit better. Um, Ted's actually gone through and done a lot of reshuffling of his tactics uh, due to the frustration <laughs> of the game because we've only scored 35 goals, and that's near the bottom of League 2. But, I mean, we do still have the best defense, but I think Ted, this episode Ted's going to change the formations up a little bit more than normal. Playing some formations we're not used to seeing uh in this first match at least and then going from there so uh, sit back and enjoy boys and uh i'll see you on the pitch hi everybody martin tyler here with you alan smith has joined me league two football for you today yeah delighted to be here martin looking forward to it Come here, the visitors, with this wonderful defensive record. Actually, it is the best defensive record in the division. No, I think uh, the home side will have to produce something special to break through this defence. Now you've got your chance to check on the lineup for the home team. Well, they're going to go with 4-3-3 here, with uh, plenty of width to that attacking three. Yeah, you could almost describe it as the Dutch system down the years. And the three-pronged attack, it can be really potent, but. It can be awkward as well for those wide lads. This is how the visitors will line up today. Well, and give us your insight onto the away team today, strength and weaknesses. Well, I think they expected to be slightly below the promotion places. And they have got half a chance of making something of this season if they can just pick themselves up in the remaining games. Over the top, brilliant ball. Tanzer wins it, nice. Osadembe's through. Can Osadembe finish it? And he does! Osadembe with the goal! Great counterattack there. And Newport County have finally scored thanks to the run of Osadembe. We're up 1-0 here on the road, and we looked pretty good coming out the gates. Here it is again. Great hold-up play from Harrison. Feeds it to Osademi. He takes his time, then finesses it to the near post. Just beating the keeper there. Great finish. Just out of reach. Finally getting some goal-scoring threats here. And here they come on the attack. Rebe. The shot. Ooh. Not bad from distance, but still it was from distance. Take a look at it again. Just kind of, just couldn't quite curl it in, but a dangerous chance nonetheless. Good D. Oh no, that fell right to him. That's off the post. Ooh, dangerous, dangerous effort there. Oh, no, Tanzer, that's a giveaway. Use the shot, and it just goes over. 
Again, we're getting fortunate with these turnovers, but they're happening a little too frequently here. Luckily, Hughes was in the way, but the shot was poor from Thompson. Oh, good build up there. Oh, my gosh. Just like that, Dicker scores on a gr brilliant volley. And that is a very swift reply right at halftime there. Start of the second half. Just brilliant build up here. They were patient. They weren't too aggressive. Uh, we were kind of sitting back a little bit on our heels there. And, oh, that's a tough one to give up. Great finish there from Dicker. What a volley from outside the box. Over the top. Cunha, bang it. Oh, what a save. I thought Cunha had that one. Break his gold scoring drought. Coming up for the home side. Back stick. Oh, oh, Taylor. Brilliant save. Oh, my gosh. What a save there. Kinsella didn't get up for the ball, and Taylor had to make a nice save there. Reaction save. Ah. Oh, through ball in. Oh, no. The shot, and it's a goal. And just like that, we're down 2-1. to one. Man, the second half is just not going our way. Just getting outworked here by the home side. There it is again. Just brilliant ball in. Hughes tried all he could, but he got around him, and it was just a clinical finish. Just a great far post finish. Taylor couldn't get a piece of that one. Oh, there it is. Lovely ball. Cunha, finish it. Oh, what a save. Cunha was through, and I thought he had it. He put it on his left boot. Just keeper made the save. And that's the full-time whistle. And <sighs> tough result here. A very entertaining match. But, yeah, we end up losing this one on the road 2-1. to one. Uh, Probably the best we've played as a group as far as creativity is concerned, but... Man, that second half, we were just outclassed by the home side. They turned it on here, and we just couldn't have an answer for it to bring crawl it back to a level match. But, oh, man, Carlisle got that early goal in the second half and then built on it with another great finish to take the win here. And it's more drop points for Ted Lasso's side, leaving Carlisle. Okay, man of the match goes to the keeper for Carlisle Gillespie on a 7. Uh, he made some good saves there to keep him keep him uh, in it for the the win. Uh, man, this was a tough match. Uh, I thought we uh, the five in the back formation actually worked pretty well that first half. I thought the first half we outplayed them, pretty hands down. We were very more clinical on our counterattacks. We got the early lead, just hanging on to it, just kind of weathering the storm. And then we ended up having to. Uh, Try, they got one back really early, and then we tried to bring out another striker, and we just nah, couldn't bring it back. And then Harrison took a knock, which hopefully he's okay, but it looks like a pretty serious one. He did come straight out, but not the best performance from the guys. Um, even though, as far as the gameplay goes, it felt good. I think that was the best we felt like we've played. It was very fluid. We, we, had, we, we had lots of good chances. Um, we weren't very, st we weren't stagnant on the attack like we've been in the past, but uh, defensively we're a bit woeful. Um, I mean, they were playing a three, a four-three-three, which is very difficult to defend. That's why the five in the back formation I thought would help, but uh, it did. But until we switched up, then we kind of just lost our focus. Uh, but in that event, let's uh, see where we end up in the table now as we get ready for the next match here. Okay, just a quick update on the Harrison situation is you can see bad news. Harrison has broken a has broken his elbow and is out for two months. It looked like a pretty nasty challenge in the air. 
Um, so that means um, basically our number one striker, even though he hasn't been producing like a number one this season, is out. He's done for the year. So that does hurt us a little bit because now I only have three strikers and one of them's getting ready to leave. And Collins and Bowden are kind of iffy as to if they're going to, if that when they score, they're kind of hot, cold. So uh, that's a bit of an unfortunate turn of events for us. It's gotten just worse for us here this part of the season. Just can't seem to catch a break, but uh, we'll see how the next match goes. Oh, we've got a great game for you today. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. We're both really looking forward to describing it for you. a success for the host today based so far on shutting out the opposition and I think what makes this team so hard to beat is the fact that everybody works hard out of possession it starts at the front with the strikers this is the lineup for the home side and we put it out here Alan there's a 4-4-2 would you go along with that yeah I think to begin with it'll be interesting actually the manager does like to change his shape at times during a match but it looks like it will start this way and for the away side this is how they line up for this match well we've got this up as a 4-4-2 but one of the attackers may well have a bit of extra work to do against the opposition's midfield yeah most definitely and uh, he's got good legs good stamina he will have to get through an awful lot of work supporting his lone striker and then defending as well yeah two teams Friday night in the league two teams full of confidence and uh, both have played some good football recently if they're both positive here they should be in for a thriller nice cut out there ah just what a battle in the midfield Oh no. Deflected. Oh, he's off. Riley scores, but I think he's offside. The crowd jumps in reaction there. That was close. As he found a way through, let's take a look at it again. Is he? Yeah, he is offside there by a foot. Good call. So Riley gets denied the goal there. Oh. Takes it to touch again. Ah. Oh, oh, penalties given. Oh, my goodness, the penalty. That's that's disappointing. Yeah, with the foul there. Was it? Yeah. Ah, clumsy challenge there from Yan the man. That's going to be a penalty. Let's see what he does here. Oh, he sends it over. Oh, oh we catch another break here. As Burt and Albion have just not had the luck here tonight. Plays that ball high over the top. Brilliant ball. Get there. Come on, get there, Bowden. Frost in. Header. Oh, Alito. What a sitter. And he absolutely missed it. Oh. Another missed opportunity. There we go. Let's break. Down the wing. There we go. There we go. And I whip it in. Oh, Collins couldn't keep it down. Ah, I got to do a lower cross there. Just couldn't quite stick, get in front of that ball. Ah, he's around. Swamsey, close him down. Header. Oh, Taylor. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Taylor, for that save. It was an absolute joke, that error to get the ball around. And, oh, we got lucky there. Over the top. Brilliant. Oh, Collins. Collins, you're through. Collins, finish it. Ah, oh, I couldn't finish it. Just getting tugged there at the end. Just couldn't bury it near post. And that's the final whistle. It's a nil-nil draw. 
I think all things considered, I think we're lucky to get a draw this match. We were outclassed. I think our injuries are starting to pile up here. We're just we're worn down here. We're just we don't have any gas in the tank here. As the season's winding down here, this is the end of March, and we just look so flat right now. We just have nothing left in the tank. I mean, we played well, well enough to get the draw here, but I don't know. Promotion's starting to slip away from us once again here at the Rodney Parade Stadium. Okay. Your man of the match goes to the center back Taft. And uh, their back line played pretty well, I thought. We had a tough time breaking them down. But, man, we had some chances that we should have buried. Uh, Burton Albion, strong side, even though it doesn't look like it's their whole first team, kind of like us, playing their second to your side. But uh, everybody played okay. Uh, just don't know, boys. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying everything I can think of to make this team work. Find some of this spark. Find a spark in this team. Um, we struggled today, but I mean, it was our B side out there just for the sake of it. Just to, another back to back match, trying to rest players for this final run, for this final month of the season coming up here. But that's the end of March. We'll quickly take a look at the table before we get off here, but. I mean, it's a, a point at home's nice, but you know, after the, we played the last match, we looked we didn't look as good in this one, and it's, we had another injury come up for John Lewis. So our strikers are starting to fall here pretty fast. We're running out of options up top. So let's uh, just uh, quickly go over the standings and kind of evaluate what this month meant to us. <laughs> Well, the good news is we're back into the playoff spot after falling out there after the Carlisle match. Uh, we're back in thanks to goal differential, which, thank God, our defense has been so strong. But, again, we, we're, we're just not scoring enough goals. Uh, it's a problem. We need to score. And now we just received word that John Lewis has broken his toe. So now I have two strikers at the end of the month, March break who... A uh, broken shoulder, I believe. A broken elbow for Harrison and a, bro and a broken toe for John Lewis Beans. I'm down to two strikers. So we're going to have to play one striker formations from here on out. And Collins and Bowden have kind of gone up missing here. Um, just I mean, I mean, we're fighting with them for that promotion spot. Man, it is tight. I mean, we could easily fall back down to, you know... 10th place here if we're not careful we got to get results um we got to get some wins uh we'll take a look here at a recent skid and try to judge where we're at but there's the table uh i can't confirm luton town has has gained automatic promotion for next season and they're looking like they're ready to wrap up the title here in maybe a couple weeks time for sure Leighton orient looks strong for automatic promotion as well uh, Steven Inch, Hold Edge, on Fleetwood Town, and York City's not far behind. I mean, to tell you the truth, we're only six points out, but man, we were a lot closer than that. 14-14-11 um, is not where I saw this team being, especially given our early runs of the season and our, how well our defense has held up. But uh, got to find the goals somewhere. Got to got to turn on the goal scoring charm somehow. But uh, we'll just wait and see. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it. Um, let's quickly take a look at uh, our recent run of form here in this month of March. All right, here we go. As you see, last match, a draw, a loss, a draw, a draw, a loss, a loss. So we are on a bit of a losing streak. That's one, two, three. F We're winless in the month of March. That is not good for promotion. That's not good promotion form right there, I can tell you. Anybody can tell you. That's six... We haven't won. We haven't won since our 3-0 drubbing of Dagenham. And then after that, I think we lost Drew, lost, won. I mean, it's ever since that FA Cup match, we've really only, we've only had one win after that. And really since the end of January. After the this whole <laughs> 2017 has just been a dreaded season, only... Like two league wins in that time. 
two league wins and a lot of losses and draws. Not exactly where I thought we would be. Um, but here we go. The last we're, we got uh, coming up. We do have Morecambe coming up. Oxford United, Barnett, Yeovletown, York City, who are fighting for that promotion spot here late. Um, and then Wickham and Rochdale who are at the bottom of the table right now. But it could be interesting. It really could be interesting how this shapes up as we're coming down to the last month and a half of the season. Uh, we got to get results. we got to get the ball in the back of the net. That's that's the bottom line right now. Um, I don't know if automatic promotion is going to be enough or if we have enough games to get automatic promotion. We'd have to go on a heck of a run here, but I just I feel like we gotta we got to scrape for the playoff spots now. I think that's our best bet because... I hate to scratch because we're just not getting it done right now. There's just too many games back to back, and we got another one here in the next episode of back to back. Just four days rest, and just these games just add up too quickly, and just can't get enough uh, players rotated enough to rest. So uh, that go there goes that. But I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and hopefully you stay tuned as we wind down the season here in Newport County. It's not looking good. But uh, somehow we're hanging in there. But man, we need to. We got we got strikers going down left and right, and we're not scoring either. So uh, Ted's got to give a think about what what worked and what didn't. But uh, hopefully next episode we could finally turn it around. But until next time, I'll see you around.